Alvaro, all in all, a, a superb, superb week for Glamorgan cricket. Yeah, it's been really good. I think the well, the last four games we, we've really played well. Starting here with, with Essex where we got 220 and then obviously the rain interrupted. And then um, going to Old Trafford and beating Lancashire in the, in the one-day game there. And then beating Kent here and also um, today beating Gloucestershire. So I think we've played well at home um, and that's something we set out to do at the start of the season and um, it's going according to plan. So I'm pretty happy with where we are as a team. Um, hopefully we can um, you know, go, go further and take the second step now. Yeah, three victories in eight days. What what has pleased you most? I think just the way you know we we came back all the time. And, you know, it's it's easy to win a game and then stay on that high, but we always seem to to come back and and, and start a game well again and finishing it off. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And just the way you know the boys went the boys went about this their their business, whether it's from a bowling point of point of view. Fielding today was brilliant once again, mm -hmm. and then just batting the way we put it together. Um, no one really got big, big scores, but everyone contributes. And, um, you know, like I said, the big scores will come and hopefully we can take games away from, from teams earlier. Yeah, it's, it's a real team effort and you, you can tell the, the togetherness and the spirit in the team. But within that, there's been some excellent team performances like Gareth Reese setting the tone for the fielding with his run out in the first over and then carrying his bat to, to see the team through to victory. Yeah, it is. I think every single one contributes somewhere along the line, which is great. That's what you want from a team. And, um, you know, we we know as Glamorgan that if we play together, you know, it, that's exactly what we want. That's how we want to play our cricket. And then um, in that, if we get a few guys who, who contribute hugely, that makes things easier. And, you know, every single time there's someone, um, there was Gary Fries today, there was Mark Wallace who scored 100 um, against Kent. So everyone contributes in their own way, and, and I'm pleased that everyone's uh, somewhere involved in the game. Yeah, and are you happier with your contribution? Yeah, well, I, I am happy, but I'm not satisfied. Um, I don't think any cricketer will be satisfied. Um, so I'd like to contribute more, but um, you know, as long as the team wins, I'm, I'm pretty happy. It's not about me, it will never be about me, it's always about the team first. Um, so as long as they win, um, as long as we win, um, I'm happy with where, where my game's going. Yeah, and I guess it's, it's that professional attitude of never being satisfied, of always wanting that little bit more. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, something I understand. Uh, maybe for some people it's a bit difficult to understand that. Uh, but, um, yeah, I, you know, I'll never be satisfied as a cricketer. Um, the day I'll be satisfied is probably the day I call it quits and retire from cricket. But for the next six or seven years, um, I don't think I'll be satisfied ever. Um, I'll try and push on, try and be the best and try and score more runs all the time. Yeah. And now a, a punishing schedule, three championship games on the road. I think... Dean Koska said that you're, you're approaching it as a, almost as a mini-series. Is that, is that how you see it? Because it's three very difficult matches. Yeah, it is difficult matches. And, um, you know, I addressed it with the team earlier that, uh, you know, I want, I want us to see it as a, as a mini-series. And, you know, if we, if we look at it as a, as a cruelling three, match, three matches, then, you know, we might get the, the worst of it. So I want us to really be, be up for it and play it as a three-match series. And, you know, it's three championship games try and get into it again, try and try and get some results out of them um, and then come back into the 2020 stuff. So it suits us perfectly. Um, you know, it's, it's really about getting the attitudes right and, um, you know, getting to do it once again, all over again. Yeah, and both the momentum from the three-day victory over Kent and then successive CV40 victories as well, the team must approach these matches with lots of confidence. Yeah, we do have a lot of confidence. Um, you know, we said... Uh, if we can get a few victories under our belt, you know, hopefully we can we can get the ball rolling. I think we've done just that, and um, that's why the three games coming up is so crucial. Now, if we get some good results out of that, who knows? We might we might finish top of the table, um, you know, going halfway into the season. So, uh, I'm, I'm very happy with where we are, um, and you know, the three matches are crucial now, and we want to put in big performances. I don't think in. In four-day cricket, we've played our best cricket yet. Um, we've played winning cricket, but I don't think we've played our best cricket yet. And hopefully, over the next three days, we can achieve just that.